One of the most common questions I get on my channel is how to set up Visual Studio 2019 for C++ CLR Windows Forms application development. In this video, let's see how. First we need to download the web installer from the official website and I will have a link for it in the description below. So after the download is done, we can launch the installer and it will download some stuff again. So after that download is completed, it will start installing automatically and after the installation is done, we will be able to launch the Visual Studio installer. So after you launch that, click on Visual Studio Community 2019 and click install. After that, we can start selecting the components we need. So first click on desktop development with C++ and remove all the unnecessary things that we are not going to use in this series. So you can just leave these four and you should be good to go. And in the individual components, make sure to install the C++ CLI support for version 142 build tools and you will get all these three components automatically selected and after that you can click download all then install because that's the most efficient way and you can change the installation locations and also from the workloads you can also select all these three items which are commonly used when you are working with c++ however for the most part of this series we are not going to use them so just choose desktop development c++ with c++ cli support for version 142 build tools so after that you can click install and this will download all the files required and then it will start installing so after downloading is completed it will start installing and after the installation is completed it will prompt us that we should restart our computer to proceed with the installation so just click restart now or whatever and then after your computer is restarted you can launch visual studio so go to the start menu and launch visual studio installer and from there you can launch the application so after visual studio is launched you can close the installer if you want you can create a microsoft account or sign in with your existing one i'm just going to skip that part and i'm going to set the family environment as c++ because that's what i prefer and then we can continue so after a few seconds or minutes whatever we will get this Visual studio dialog and from there you can click create new project and now you can search for clr and you should see two options called clrmproject.net core and clrmproject.net framework so the .net core thing here is used to make dlls libraries but the clrm project based on the .net framework is used to create console and other types of applications so in our case gui applications which use windows forms so you can choose a location and give your project a name and click create and the project will be created so after that you need to go to project properties and from there go to linker system and change the subsystem to windows and from advanced change the entry point to main and next you need to go to project add new item and ui windows form and click add so after you add the form you should get this error so if something like that happens you can just close it by the way you should open the myform.cpp file and paste this code right here after that you can save it and close but when you open myform.h if you don't see the form but you see a code that means there's something wrong with the solution so you can just close visual studio or just close the solution and reopen it and you should be good to go So as you can see the my form is properly loaded so next we can run the application by clicking local windows debugger and it should work so fortunately it works and also we can add stuff to this from the toolbox like buttons and stuff so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something new there's tons of videos on our channel about virtual c++ windows forms application development you can check out those and let's meet you in another one and bye for now